Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kaplan USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. I am Dr. Jason Fernasiak, back again this week with another clinical vignette. As always, these clinical vignettes are, ho are hopefully giving you high-yield information to take with you to both the wards and the boards in order to increase your scores on the USMLE and help you take care of patients on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that, we're going to jump right into our clinical vignette. Today, we have a 34-year-old woman who comes to the physician because of pain on intercourse and bleeding between menstrual periods. Physical examination shows abdominal tenderness and tenderness on palpation of the adnexa. An endometrial biopsy specimen shows a prominent inflammatory infiltrate composed of lymphocytes, plasma cells, and histiocytes. Which of the following is the most likely causal agent? Is it A, candida albicans, B, chlamydia trachomatis, C, herpes simplex 1, D, human papillomavirus, or E, treponema pallidum? Now the answer to this vignette is B, chlamydia trachomatis. The key point here is we're dealing with chronic endometritis. On the endometrial biopsy, this will show a chronic inflammatory infiltrate of lymphocytes, plasma cells, and histiocytes. And it's very key to look for that plasma cell infiltrate. You're gonna see that on your pathology reports, either on the boards or on the wards. And when you see that, think of chronic inflammatory disease. Herpes and HPV generally produce epidermal or mucosal lesions, not things that show up on the endometrial biopsy. It can cause bleeding, pain, or infertility. And these are things to be looking out for in these patients. The high yield takeaway for chronic endometritis is that it is characterized by these infiltrates on endometrial biopsy of lymphocytes, plasma cells, and histiocytes. Important predisposing factors in the United States include chlamydia infection, uterine instrumentation, and recent pregnancy. So that's all for our weekly vignette. I hope that you've learned something today that you can take with you when treating patients and if you see something like this on the USMLE exam. Best of luck. We'll see you again soon.